In question nine, we're going to look to see how $1,000 grows under compound interest over a period of time. Now, obviously, for zero years, it's $1,000. Now, for five years, it's going to be 1,000 times 1 plus 0.09 divided by 12, or the power of 60. And when we're looking at 10 years, it'll be 1,000 times 1 plus 0.09 divided by 12, because it's still monthly. Um, divided uh, to the power of 120. I'll quickly do a couple of those calculations. So that's 1565. 68. Cheat a little bit and just copy the entry. And I'll raise that to the power of 120. And I'll raise that to the power of 180 for 15 years. And I'll raise that to the power of 240. Now, in a moment, I'll just transfer those figures to the table. Now, you can see in the growth of this way, I'll just round that to 1566. It seems to be growing disproportionately. And you can see that exponential upwards hook. Now, if you've done this unit prior to the, um, or sorry, after you've done the sequences and series unit, you'll also recognize that it's possible to show this in a sequence and series notation as well. And just very briefly, I've entered the function, a little glitch in that I've got to start at one, but you can see what happens as we get to 61. We've got that thousand and sixty five or sixty six dollars.